the Santo Domingo School of Music and it's an amazing operation. They all meet in a square on a Sunday morning right in the middle of the city and the lecturers teach for free. You can turn up, young or old, there's lots of spare instruments. They teach uh, guitar and saxophone and flute and violin, big variety, plus they teach dance as well. And they also uh, try and encourage all the shoeshine boys to come and learn an instrument so they can busk instead of uh, shining shoes and hopefully go on to something better, which is a lovely project. The whole thing is truly amazing. Uh, we've got small kids here learning. I mean, it's all age groups from very old to very young. It's just so brilliant. And it's full of locals. They all pile down here on a Sunday. What a great day. Santo Domingo School of Music. They've always taught outdoors because they didn't have a building, but now they've been given a building and everywhere you go it's huge. You wander through this building, it's full of courtyards and rooms, and there's people in little corners studying music and helping each other with their instruments. It's amazing. So uh, they were all getting set up to play in the square and uh, Loran, Lucy and I went to pick up some lunch from the supermarket so we could have a picnic while we were listening to them. And uh, it started to rain so by the time we got back to the square they'd all vanished. Luckily, just luck of luck, I bumped into one of the lecturers that uh, I know. And uh, so he said, oh, come with me, we've got a building now, and, and we're all, all going there, I'll take you. So he took us around, and uh, here we are. And it's just so cool. It's the best thing. They're so enthusiastic. And it's from tiny kids to old people still learning. It's just, and it's all free. I mean, that's the big thing, this whole thing. And they do dance. Everybody is so kind here and so enthusiastic. It's amazing. I'm loving it. We've all loved it. We're going to have to leave soon. That's going to be sad. I'm not going to like that. So that cannon, Lucy. It's huge. It's a monster. Yeah. That's a big bad boy, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Lucy looking very chilled under uh, the watchful eye of a shepherd. Oh, yeah. Loran doing the tourist Swiss thing. What do you think, Loran? Nothing. Loran, that's that's not an answer. So Miss Swiss Daredevil is uh, all the way down here. Yeah, no devil, she went right out on the end. I mean, some of these places are beautifully kept. Look at this, it's amazing. And they've got all these bronze statues in the garden. 
It's all very religious. So you've got Jesus Christ on the cross. What looks like the Virgin Mary down there and the shepherds. Lovely bronzes, absolutely beautiful. It looks like they've got some, uh, could be slaves. That's sad, yeah, down here. Yeah, guys who've been handcuffed and things. Oh, that's not good. But we've got to remember about it. But this beautiful building in front of us. In this part of the city, it's a great jumble of houses. And in amongst it, these beautiful old buildings that are so well kept. It's lovely. What a spot. And this is where we are, high on the ramparts with these big cannons. Wow. These are all bronze sculptures. I'd love to know if it's a series of artists or one artist's life work. I think these look actually by a different hand than the ones we were looking at just now. But they're fabulous sculptures, all of them. There are so many here. There's all these kids, the shoeshine boy, the lad selling fruit. It's amazing. <laughs> 